Jose had said that he wanted to wait until this morning yeah. to exactly see the weather because um, while it may look good at the start of the game, you're thinking later towards the end of the game is where it might get questionable. Yeah, and it's really the timing of this mm -hmm. cold front that's coming in, not only potentially bringing some rain in for the game later today, but it's also going to be a game changer when it comes to our temperatures for the rest mm -hmm. of the week. Dropping like it's uh, hot, yeah. but not hot. Hot <laughs> to the cool. opposite. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be curious to see what they do with this because uh, I do think that that rain's going to start in northwest Indiana around 7 p.m. So the timing is it going to be too close? Nah, we'll see. So we'll wait uh, for that call. But in the meantime, you're looking live at Lucas Oil Stadium. We are dry this morning, and we're going to have a lot of dry time through the course of the day today. Again, that rain chance not going to increase until late this evening. 60 currently under a mostly clear sky. We've been partly cloudy through the overnight, and that's kept our temperatures somewhat mild. And we're going to continue to see a mix of sun and clouds as we get into the afternoon today. 72 at noon. We're back to 77 at 2 o'clock. Focusing on that 4 o'clock hour as that game gets underway. 405 is the kickoff, 80 the temperature at the time. We get it to the evening tonight. Cloud cover will continue as temperatures drop back through the 70s. But of course, it's when uh, things are going to change for us. Let's walk you through the latest on Future Track 13. Starting out there this morning, noticing that cloud cover eroding as we get into the 1 o'clock hour. And then eventually after 1 p.m., that's when that rain's going to start to develop in northwestern Indiana. So 4 o'clock. We're still going to be, be a mostly sunny here as temperatures recover to the low 80s, but then that rain starts to move in. Here's 7 p.m. from Kokomo to Lafayette. You notice that as the clouds really take over for us here in uh, the downtown area in Indianapolis. And then eventually this front's going to work its way in our direction. Still through about 10 p.m., I think a majority of the rain that does develop is still going to be northwest of Indy. So if this holds true, which this is, again, the very latest weather model, high resolution, I think that... There's a chance that window and roof could be open today into tomorrow. This is when it all changes. The rain moves in this evening, continues through the overnight through the first part of the day tomorrow. We'll actually have our high temperature looks like around midnight in the mid 60s. Temperatures will fall along that front to around 56 at noon. The rain will move out Monday afternoon. We'll see some sunshine as that drier air returns. Temperatures will recover to around 63 on the back side of this frontal system. So here's that latest timeline. I want to pause here around 7 a.m. early Monday for the Monday morning drive. Widespread rain is going to be with us. I don't think anyone's complaining. We desperately need it. We're nearly in a three inch rain deficit for the month of September. We'll take all we can get, but by about 3 p.m. that rain's going to be out of here. Again, we'll clear the sky back out, recovering into the lower 60s, and then that cooler air really dives in for early Tuesday. In fact, many of us in outlying locations going to wake up Tuesday morning in the 30s, watching for the potential of some frost development. And then a lot of us don't get out of the 50s for Tuesday afternoon. We're talking rainfall potential. Most of us going to pick up around the quarter of an inch with this system as it comes through. Might see some isolated higher amounts if we get some heavier downpours embedded within that line. That's what uh, the weather model here is picking up on for our friends down in Shelbyville. But overall, again, not going to complain about this, I don't think. We've only picked up four uh, one hundredths of an inch of rain so far this month. There's that departure from normal. We'll take it. We're going to get it again starting late tonight through the first part of the day on Monday and the temperatures behind this much cooler next week. So if you're a fan of the summertime weather, enjoy that 80 degree day that we have in store for today. 63 tomorrow afternoon, 64 Tuesday, and then we are below average. Check that out. 57. That's as good as we do next Friday.